Okay, so seeing some things, let's, let's look at this real quick. You come back over here, and you guys see that our y value was the total quantity served. All right, so your first concept is what's the sum of a y value? That's going to be what's on the axis over here, which represents something. Then you actually got to see over here that details, right over here, which is category, details is going to represent ev um, every single separate category is going to represent one of these blue things over here. We haven't labeled them yet and added a color like we should, but we will. So these are our details over here. And every single one of these represents a different category. We'll see how to make that clear in just a little bit. Then you got to see over here, you have your quantity served year to date coming over here as the second field, right? And notice over here that on quantity served year to date, this thing was actually pretty intelligent. It was able to figure out that for quantity served year to date, it put it on the x axis, right? Um, because it was a time because it was a known as a time measure. That's how I was able to figure that out. Year to date means for some period of time. And that gave us the ability now to do something called play axes, which went on the, which is typically going to be a time sort of thing. So remember, play axes is usually like a day, a month column, something like that. So we were able to put our month column over here on the bottom. And then from there, we were able to track things and, tra and track total figures for every single one of these months. Year to date, what was the total sum of our, what was the total sum of our quantity served as well as what was the quantity served year to date. And because this is total quantity served versus quantity served just for the current year to date, these figures were able to match up, match up perfectly. Very interesting over here. Very interesting. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is wouldn't it be helpful if we could see something like, for example, to make this more clear for our user, what if we could do something like take the size of this and see something like, for example, this blue over here, I want this blue to be bigger or smaller based upon, you know, maybe say the sum, um, the total quantity served. So I can see which one was the biggest or the smallest of these categories. Okay, watch this. This is what, this is where we get an, into another very helpful category, um, an, another very helpful part called size. So come down to size over here to the right, right over here. And then for size, what we're gonna do is drag over the sum of the quantity consumed which is gonna say make it bigger or smaller depending upon how much, whoops, how big quantity soon, uh, consumed is. So in, use sum of quantity consumed two over here, by the way. It might say sum of quantity consumed on, um, on Excel's version 2010, I don't know. But here, just drag that in. And look at that, now that's interesting. They're labeled, as you guys can see over here, so size labeled it. And even when we move our mouse over, we can see the total size over here but look at that. We've also, we've also got a relative size, depending upon what, what area we're in, of how much was consumed so we, can, so we get a third picture of data. Very slick way to be able to have multiple different axes or look at multiple different AKA um, numbers by being able to do that. So now the size tells us how much was consumed. This tells us how much was consumed year to date. And this tells, tells us the total amount or, or how much was served year to date for this. And this tells us, tells us the total amount served. Nice. Very, very nice for being able to combine data. And I think everyone can, can see the advantages now over here. So as we go a little bit further, this is getting pretty sweet over here, but look at this. Some other things for our users. If our users wanna make it bigger, they can pop it out. That's our pop out view right over there. So our users can see things that are bigger. If our users wanna see the path, if they just left click on one of these, they can see the total path so they can see, okay, this is how it's traversed through this timeline vegetables all the way up till April, you can actually see this part. Or, or maybe you click over here and see breads. And this is how breads has traversed. You can see it right over there. In February, how is breads doing? Wow. Um, and then as time went by, breads began to get consumed less and less. And you guys can see breads was really consumed very little over here and very little over here. And we can see the total quantity served coming back for June and you name it. Very helpful over here. And of course, we can play it. Because I just clicked breads, it's really, um, you guys see where breads is actually tracking with the little line showing us? Sweet. Really, really sweet. I'll take it out of full screen mode. You can also do that, um, I'll click pop in. You can also do that in smaller mode too, but look at that. Very handy. So you've got what's known as bubble tracing as they call it. And you can get bubble tracing right over there too by just clicking on something once you choose, once you choose a size over there. So handy indeed, definitely. Okay, and then click on it again to take it off. 
All right, so now you guys see why this is definitely the standard coming up. I think I don't need to mention that anymore. Um, what if you want to do something else? You know, what if you wanted to add something for colors or something, like say by the category group or whatever? So you wanted to color code these? Well, let me show you how to do that real quick and show you how easy that is. If you come over here and come back to your fields group, woo, there we go. And now in our fields group, what we're going to do is we've got a we've got a category field over here right now. Let's say that we decide that instead of having um, a category field or whatever, we want to we want to actually show names. So not categories, but actual names right over there instead. So I'm going to take the name field, come back up, find the name field, and I'm going to drag the name down to category. That'll replace it. Now every single now now the name of every single item goes on the chart instead. So now I can see I can see name by so now I can see item by item by item by item. Okay, all right. Now once we've actually got that actually done, or or, or once we actually have that finished, um, come back a little bit and expand this, make this a little bit bigger because this is you know this is actually pretty um this is actually pretty pretty occupied at this stage, and now we're going to do something else here, something else pretty interesting. Um, we're going to take this category name right over here, and we're then going to